My dear P6 learners, welcome to lesson four of this episode, online teaching. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. In our previous lesson, I taught you how to express quantities into a ratio. And I remember I told you that these quantities can be given in different units, but the most important thing which I told you was when you have been given different units, convert them, have them in the same units. Then after that, you can go ahead and express them as ratios. We have an exercise which I gave you. I may not go through all the numbers just because of time, but I have just picked a few of them as a reminder of what we did in our previous lesson. We are going to express 30 minutes as a ratio of two hours. We are expressing 30 minutes as a ratio of two hours. When you look at this, we have different units. We have minutes, at the same time, hours. So what do we do? You must convert one of them so that you have similar units. So which one is simpler to convert? Is it from minutes to hours or from hours to minutes? I took you through all the methods, converting this to this and converting this one to this. But as a good student of mathematics, you should know that this one is going to be faster when I decide to convert this. So for that case, I'm going to convert two hours to minutes, and we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. I hope you remember that. What about if we have two hours? Two hours will give us two times the 60 minutes. If you don't do this, what do you do? You are going to add 60 two times. So when you multiply, what do you get? You are going to get 120 minutes. Now that we have the same units, it becomes very simple. Step one, we are going to express 30 minutes we are expressing 30 minutes, but as a fraction of two hours, and the two hours has given us 120 minutes. Minutes and minutes will cancel off. Even a zero will go with this zero. So what do I remain with? Three out of 12. Told you that that fraction must be in its simplest form. So is this one in its simplest form? No, so we reduce. What are the common factors here? Three. So three divided by three, we get a one. Twelve divided by three, we shall get a four. So it means we are getting a quarter as our fraction. So since we are expressing as a ratio, it means this is not the final answer. How do we express a quarter as a ratio? It will be one, two, four. Then we can also look at grams against kilograms. We are going to express 500 grams as a ratio of one and a half kilograms. So changing grams to kilograms and changing grams to, changing grams to kilograms and changing kilogram to grams, which one is simpler? I think changing this one to grams becomes simpler. So we shall have one kilogram is equal to how many grams? There are 1,000 grams which make up one kilogram. What about if we have one and a half kilograms? Okay, you remember how to convert this, change this one into an improper fraction, two times one, that is two, plus one, that is three, out of two. Then we multiply it by 1,000. And these are grams. Divide by two, one. Divide by two is five. Plus how many zeros? There are two, the two zeros there. So we shall have three times 500 grams, which is going to give us 1,500 grams. So it means one and a half is the same as 1,500 grams. Having done this, what are we expressing? We are expressing 500. So it is going to be 500 grams out of the one and a half kilograms which has given us 1,500 grams 
then you reduce grams, grams, a zero by zero. Even this one with this one. So I have remained with five out of 15. Is it reduced to the lowest term? No. So we go ahead and divide. Divide by five, one. Divide by five, three. So we are getting a third. So what is a third as a ratio? It becomes one, two, three. That's what we basically looked at in our previous lesson. In our lesson today, we are not going to repeat that. I hope you understood that one very well. But as you know, in mathematics, if you are to master a content, you don't need to depend on what the teacher has given you. For me, I give you very few examples. So it's up to you to go and look for numbers, which will help you to have enough practice so that you can master the, uh, these contents. So in our lesson today, we are going to look at how we can increase in ratios. I'm going to look at how we can increase in ratios. So when I talk about increase, what does it mean? If I say the number of children at Kampala Quality Primary School increased, what does it mean? That the number become, became bigger or less? Huh? If I say the number increased. So if I say the number increased, it means the number became bigger, the number grew. If we are 1,000, it means we are now more than 1,000. So we are going to look at how we can increase quantities but using ratios. In our example number one, we are going to increase 40 kilograms in the ratio of Four, two, the ratio of four to, in the ratio of five to four. We are going to increase 40 kilograms in the ratio of five to four. So if you have been told to increase 40 kilograms, in this ratio, after getting your answer, you should check, has this number increased from 40 to a number which is bigger? That's how you can prove that you have really done what we are calling increase. So how do we increase in this ratio? This is what we do. These ones are called ratio parts. These ones, five parts and four parts. So since these ones are ratio parts, when we are increasing, increasing, you get the bigger ratio, you divide it by the smaller ratio. Okay? Then that fraction should be multiplied by given quantity. Okay? When we are increasing, we get the bigger ratio out of the smaller ratio, then times the given quantity. In this case, five and four, which one is a bigger ratio? Five is bigger than four. So we shall have five. Divide it by. What is the smaller ratio here? It is four. Times what quantity has been given? The quantity is of 40 kilograms. Okay? Go ahead and reduce. Divide by four, one. When you divide by four, what do you get? 10. So we have five, which we are going to multiply by 10 kilograms. So when we multiply, five times 10, 10 times five, what do we get? Five times zero, zero. Five times one, five. So it means five times 10 is giving us 50 kilograms. Has our number increased from 40 to a number which is bigger? I think you can see. From 40 to 50. So it means my number has been increased. My number has been increased. 
Do you see how simple it is? Very simple and interesting. Let's have another example. The number of pupils at Kabira Primary School increased increased from nine hundred papers in the ratio in the ratio in the ratio of Four to three. Find the new find the new number of papers in that. Cool. The number of pupils at Kabira Primary School increased from 900 pupils in the ratio of 4 to 3. Find the new number of pupils in that school. So I have told you that since we are saying the number increased from this, and we want now the current number of pupils in this school. We are going to increase this number using this ratio. So, since we are increasing, which one is the bigger ratio? The bigger ratio in this case is going to be 4. Why? 4 is bigger than 3. So we shall have 4 out of the smaller ratio, which is 3. Then times the old number of pupils which we had in that school, and that is 900 pupils. Okay, so we reduce, divide by three is one, divide by three is 300. So we shall have four times 300. And what are these? Pupils. So which product are we going to get? We shall get 300 times four. Four times zero, zero. Four times zero, zero. Four times three, we are getting 12. So it means we have now 1,200 pupils in Kabira Primary School. When you look at this new number, compared to the old number which you had, is there, a, is there any increase you can observe? Yes. From 900 pupils to 1,200 pupils, you can see that the number has really become bigger. The number has become bigger. That's how basically are supposed to increase given quantities in a given ratio. I know those who have been paying attention, you have already understood what to do. But allow me to give you one more example, one more example, which I hope is going to make you get this content well because we don't want you to come back to school next time and you begin asking you know teacher I did not understand this that's why I have decided now to give you another example which I hope is going to help you understand better so our number three we are increasing and what are we increasing we are increasing 500 5,000 in the ratio of in the ratio of 7 to 10. Increase 5,000 in the ratio of 7 to 10. 
was a mistake here, it is 10 to 7. 10 to 7. We are increasing 7,000 in the ratio of 10 to 7. See? I've told you that to increase, you get bigger ratio. And in this case, what is our bigger ratio? It is 10. Divided by the smaller ratio, which is 7. Then times. What is our quantity? Our quantity is 7,000. We don't have any units. So divide by 7, 1. Divide by 7, what do we get? It is 1,000. So we have 10 times 1,000. And 10 times 1,000, what do we get? You get 1 times 1, which is 1. Then you add on the, z the zeros given, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are getting 10,000. So our number has increased from 7,000 to now 10,000. If you have been very keen, you must have seen that when we are talking about increase, the first digit is bigger than the second digit. Have you observed that? Five is, better than, is bigger than four. Even in this case, four is bigger than three. Even in this case, 10 is bigger than seven. So in other words, when we talk about increase, it means the first ratio part should be bigger than the second ratio part, as you have observed in example one, two, up to example number three. I am going to give you an exercise and I hope you are going to do it very well. Nobody is going to, you know, move around to check whether you have written well or not. Be a supervisor to yourself. Write this work so carefully, because when you come back to school next time, this work is going to help you a lot, and teachers may not be able to repeat this work. Thank you so much for being good learners. Continue washing your hands with the soap, and if you have sanitizers, please sanitize. If you go in the public, don't forget to put on your mask. Coronavirus is still with us, and it has claimed lives of very many people. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.